me and my family always prayed to come to Israel because it's a home, it's our home. Ten months ago, I made Aliyah with my sister. We are living together in Haifa. I worry about my family because the situation in Ukraine now is really terrible. The past decade and a half has witnessed a frightening upsurge of worldwide anti-Semitism, unparalleled since the 1930s. Across Europe, incitement, desecration of Jewish institutions, attacks on Jewish property and acts of terror, including murder, are striking fear into Jewish communities. From London to Berlin, Brussels to Copenhagen, Jews are being harassed, assaulted and murdered. The situation is particularly intolerable in France and in Ukraine. In France, violent crimes against Jews have become commonplace. Avec la multiplication des actes antisémites en France, donc déjà j'ai peur pour moi, mais j'ai aussi peur aussi pour ma famille, pour ma femme, pour mes enfants plus tard. In eastern Ukraine, over one million people have been displaced. In the escalating chaos and lawlessness, Jews have once again become scapegoats, with many anti-Semitic incidents reported. When I was in school, my classmates uh, told me that, oh, you're a Jewish, it's not normal in Ukraine, why are you a Jewish? It was very hard for me to speak with them, to describe every time what I do in Ukraine and why I'm Jewish. Traditional Jew hatred today is accompanied by a virulent new form of anti-Semitism, demonization of the Jewish state and criminalizing its very existence. I will give to you and your descendants after you the land of your sojourning, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession. But Israel has always been the homeland of the Jewish people. Throughout their 2,000-year exile, the Jews prayed daily to return to the land of Israel. In 1917, Great Britain issued the Balfour Declaration. In 1920, Karen Ayasod was established to raise funds for this purpose. Since the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, Karen Ayasod has helped bring 3.5 million olim to Israel from the four corners of the earth. It has always a dream for me to come to Israel since I was 16 years old. I always have a hope that one day I will make my aliyah. It was one of the greatest miracles that happened to me. The Bnei Menashe in northeastern India trace their ancestry to the lost tribe of Menashe. After 2,700 years of wandering, they want to come back to the land of Israel. It's a very heartbreaking moment that I have ever been in the whole of my life. I don't have any word that I can describe, but I want to tell you this is Bible prophecy come into fulfillment. It's not just my heart, but I can feel the heart of Abba Father. Abba Father in heaven is so pleased to see his children who are scattered all around the globe is coming back home. From India to Africa to Europe, record-breaking numbers of Jews are eager to come home. Aliyah rose dramatically in the past year, hitting a 10-year high despite the security threats that face Israel. We must never forget that Israel is under constant threat from its neighboring countries. גם לאחר ניתוק של אלפיים שנות גלות, מסמלים יותר מכל את סוד כוחו, את סוד קיומו של עמנו ואת אמיתות ועומקות הרעיון הציוני. קרן אייסוד עובדת ב-45 מדינות בעולם. The Karen Ayasod law, passed by the Knesset in January 1956, grants the organization a unique fundraising status. In close coordination with the government and the Jewish Agency for Israel, and in partnership with the global Jewish community and Friends of Israel, Karen Ayasod promotes Aliyah and other national priorities. 
We need you, dear friends, to be our partners in this noble mission of helping the people of Israel return home before the window of opportunity slams shut and live safely in its secured homeland. In Israel, I feel better, I feel safe. Help me to bring my family and my friends come back to Israel. Because in every crisis, you have mobilized to help us. You have stood hand in hand with us to face our challenges and came on missions to show your support. Karen Ayasod, with your generous assistance, has redoubled its efforts to facilitate every Jew who wishes to fulfill the biblical prophecy. Friends of Israel, the Holy Land and its people needs you now. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth.